education used to be viewed as just what, just as a promotional marketing thing for what you wanted from people. Now, communication is, is at the heart of everything that we do. Um, so again, using the Best Buy example, if I go there and I have it in, they don't greet me or connect with me, or I go there and the signage is all wrong and where I wanted to get those, um, you know, headphones that said that was over here, but it really was somewhere else that communicates just as much as, as the product or, or anything like that is communication. Right. So, um, everything plays a role into that because it's all, there's a message at the end of that communication. There's a purpose behind it. There's a next step. Um, so I think for us in the church, part of why I wanted to write it in a way that it wasn't just for the comm leader, but it was really for a staff, for a whole leadership team or whatever, is that we have to know communication isn't somebody's job. It's everybody's job. And we all have a role to play. And if they all, if the ministry is, um, if the communications team or a leader or person or volunteer is communicating something and differently than what the ministry is communicating, or they, they make a promise that somebody else doesn't deliver on. Or, or whatever, if they're not in sync, then we've missed our opportunity to communicate our message. So at the heart of it, if we know the message we're communicating, we know the methods we're using, they all have to be in sync um, on that so that we're advocating for the person we're trying to reach because everything, everything they do from beginning to end communicates. Mm -hmm.